Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the long layoff in between videos. Uh, had a bit of a rough run trying to get a B-Class series race for you guys in to record at Chicagoland and Week 8. Just had a lot of a lot of bad stuff happen. Uh, a lot of races that were not worth showing at all. Just didn't go my way for various reasons and uh, left me in a pretty sour mood for a little while. And then uh, had a little bit of a change at work this week, so it's created quite a bit of a busy schedule, hectic schedule. So uh, outside of a league race I just ran earlier uh, tonight, I really haven't had any time to run any form of iRacing at all. So it's been kind of a nice break off, but I was really looking forward to getting back to it. Wanted to try to get you guys something. I know a lot of people have already done ARCA races, but deciding to come out here and try this one, see if I, uh, my luck at a short track can do any better. So going to go out for qualifying lane speed limit is 35 in a pretty strong strength of field for me, uh, got number 16 right, out of 21. So nice. probably going to have a tough time getting anything more than a top 10, but going to go out and qualifying just see if I can put something that that'll get me starting towards the front. Uh, half of the field if possible see if I get on the inside row I feel like this one's a little bit easier to drive than the year was the setup doesn't feel quite as loose although it's still being an ARCA card it's still incredibly easy to get on the throttle too hard coming out of the corners and lose it uh, very easy to spin the tires as well so gotta watch I don't think tire wear in terms of the percentage is going to be a big deal but obviously temperatures especially on the rear tires if you slide it too much can be a big issue getting through the corners and getting off so you can see I almost lose it a little bit and uh, pretty much turned the exact same lap time so 12th right now not the best starting spot about probably halfway through the field but we still probably got some fast guys that have not turned times yet so see what they do um i feel like you can use full throttle a little bit more here than you can at a uh at linear however um sorry gonna get dirty paints back in and get paints loaded um the other side too is you cannot um it's it's still easy to lose it here and you cannot clip the apron uh, going into the corners with the way the transition is here if you if you touch that white line at all or get below it it just rips the car right around so um you know the straight is a little bit longer it's a little bit more actual straight time i guess for for lack of a better term compared to when year was a couple of weeks ago but the, the corner's a little more treacherous, in my opinion. If you got onto the, the apron at Lanier, you could easily get the car slick and get you going around. But uh, you had a little bit of room to play with here. If you could, if you clip the apron at all in the corners, you're just getting ripped right around. And it's it's generally not going to end pretty well. So going to certainly have to watch out for everybody. Try to do my best to avoid whatever wrecks happen. Just try to keep it clean try to try to just pick up spots that way i'm just gonna hope that i have pace to maybe hang in the top half of the field and see if we can pick up a couple free spots that'll that'll help aid that a little bit that's about the uh the only way i see it going much better than you know B13. 16th for me so did get bumped back to 13 so that's good you can see the one was just absolutely quick i even if i ran my personal bus i was i was barely getting into the nines here so really wasn't going to pick up much more than than a couple spots um the, the one and the four are just so much quicker i mean the one's even in his own league and then you've got a little bit of a group in the eights and the lower nines and then we're the rest of us are kind of all you know right around the o's to the to the very low ones so uh, not sure if the 10 or the 21 is going to be very quick. Obviously, I would assume based on I rating, I should be quicker than the 21. 10 in theory should be quicker than me. Um, going to see how that side goes. Hopefully, this lag issue kind of takes care of itself. Not really sure what's going on there, uh, but just hopefully that it, it doesn't cause too many issues. We'll see when we get out there if there's blinking or, or what's going on. Not really sure why that's doing that. I haven't really had that issue lately and uh, ran a league race and didn't have a problem, so not really sure what's going on, but get gridded up 60 laps. It is uh, definitely going to be a interesting battle out here. I'm going to pull up session best lap, although I probably will be clicking over to session last lap fairly quickly. Again, starting 13th, I honestly would be okay if I finished here. If, if, it, if the race goes clean and there's really not any free spots to pick up, I'd be perfectly fine finishing 13th. That's obviously ahead of where iRacing expects me to finish. Um, 
would love to get a good finish in one of these strength of fields. That's you know again, this may not be like a you know a 4K split at all. I I, I highly doubt it is if I'm 2500 and uh, you know car number 16. But you know these ones that are 3K plus for me are, are for me uh, you know they're stronger splits. So seem to just always have bad luck. Either I self-inflict uh, a bad finish to myself, or you know I get caught up in wrecks or something in these. I, it would be would be nice to finally get a, a decent finish uh, in one of these and, and get a good chunk of I rating out of it. But just going to have to see what we can do. Just have to do the best I can to uh, keep it clean. Try to not overdrive the car at all, trying to gain too many spots. That's going to be a, a bigger death wish if I overdrive the car compared to laying back a little bit and just and wait for the race for me. Race, waiting for the race to come to me and, and guys to wreck. Got to protect the bottom. I've seen some guys be able to make the outside work, but I think protecting the bottom is going to be the best way to go. Um, I've got the brake bias back all the way, and we'll progressively moving it back as the race goes on. Um, when I get into a good rhythm here and I can drive well, I actually don't use a ton of brake. I kind of just ease off the throttle, use a little bit of brake to, to kind of settle the car in, and then just get off the throttle and, and let the car really roll through the corners. So. Probably just going to start in third gear to keep the tire spin down, going to okay, get ready to go. The we meter's going to be off shortly. Got the green flag. Got the 18 trying to jump the start or do something. He loses it Coming off of turn there. four. Going to be a bit slow. Still there. Just going to be watching for traffic to be outside pretty much most of the race, I think. Uh, it looks like he cut down a little bit. He gets loose. Don't think that was my fault at all. Felt like I was... Hanging on the inside and not coming up into him. I think he might have cut down a little bit. Maybe see to get in some points out of it. So up to 12th with that. Uh, just going to try to keep it as clean as I can. Obviously, try to do the best I can to watch out behind me. Looks like the 18 and the 8 are back a little bit. 18 dives it in pretty hard. I think he might be trying to push hard at the start. And may not be able to get there. So just going to ease it on through. Watch out for stuff to happen in front, and uh, right now it's the 18. I gotta watch out for. He's gonna dive it in. I have to give him the bottom right now with how hard he's driving it. He might just have the pace to get by me, but I feel like he could also be driving it really hard. Levin's got the issue, so that's gonna take out a bunch of cars right there. 18 sneaks through it, but it allows me to pull away quite a bit. So actually, kind of worked out that I gave the 18 the bottom there, allowed me to be on the outside lane and avoid the 11 spinning. Might have honestly been involved in his accident if it uh, had been that. We've got another wreck here on the front stretch. We're coming out of turn four going on the front stretch, so able to get around that one. Brings the 18 back, but we've got the three behind. I'm sure he's going to have some pace, so we're going to have to watch out for him. It's going to move me up quite a few spots, though. Got the 14 sitting on the outside. Turn four. Yeah, up to ninth right now, so uh, top ten I was going to be really thrilled so... Don't know if I'll have the pace to stay up here, but again, there could be some more wrecks later on in free spots as lap traffic starts to become a bigger factor. So just certainly going to do my best right now to uh, kind of get into a rhythm and make sure I don't overdrive the car too much. If the three's able to prove that he can get to me, I'll let them by. Looks like he is a little loose off of turn two, probably driving just it a bit hard to get back to me. But as I say that, I get the snap as well off of turn four. I don't know, I didn't feel like I got on throttle too hard, but it might have had the wrong input in and pick up the throttle the wrong way. 18's making a good run back. He might just honestly have the pace. Uh, he almost washes up in the three behind, so... Trying to keep an eye out of everybody up front with my little loose off of turn four a couple laps ago. It allowed them to pull away. 18's able to get by the three. Three's falling back, but I'm going to see if I can just get into a rhythm and start pulling away from the 18. The more he dives it in, the more he's going to eat that right front up, and he will start falling off. 60 laps, just like Lindier. Should go fairly quick, but it's definitely a lot of racing here. A lot that can happen. 18's diving in so hard. Dives in on the inside. Gotta see if I can figure out a way to get him by me so I can cut down in front of the three. Able to get the 18 by three slams to the outside wall coming out of turn two, so that gives me a reprieve behind. Just gonna see if I can follow the 18 through. I think he's gonna be diving it in on everybody, so there could be a collision up ahead that I could avoid. Like I said, I think unless the 18 really knows how to do much, 19 loses it, able to get by him, but he was a lap car, so no spots out of that. Um, the 18 keeps driving it hard. He will eventually eat up that right front and start falling off. We're not even a quarter of the way through the race, so. 
He could have the pace to hold it off, and it'd be good for him if he's able to, but he could easily be just overdriving the car. I don't really feel like I'm pushing it all that hard, quite honestly. You can see it almost looks like the 18's getting a little loose in the center of the corner, you know, end of the exit to the center. 14's laying on the inside of the back stretch. It's now 85 Fahrenheit. Just trying to do the best I can to, to kind of ride. I would still take a 10th place finish, quite honestly, for me. Had a good get back uh, to the 20, about two seconds, so no pressure behind, just nice and easy for me. 14's rolling on the inside of the front stretch. We're able to get by him with no problem. Looks like the 6 might be having some blinking problems up ahead. Have to keep an eye out for that if we get there. Looks like the gap's about even to the 20 right now. Not really too much gain, not too much loss. 18 loses it. It looks like the 13 got loose in front of him, and then the 18 had to... I don't know if he had to catch it or what, but it looks like he got loose a little bit later down the front stretch. I get just a hair loose off a of turn, too. Gotta watch how I get on the throttle to avoid that wheel spin on the on the straightaways. Opening it up a little bit now from the 20, so no pressure from behind, just able to focus on everything up ahead and try to pull away. 18 gets into the wall out of turn two. The leaders have absolutely pulled away, so I think the best I could probably hope for would be maybe, maybe sixth, uh, if I was somehow able to get by these uh, four cars up ahead, but I don't even know if that's honestly gonna happen. 18 gets into the wall on the back stretch again. He's going to dive low on the 13, coming out of turn 4. Unfortunately, I'm not close enough to be able to take advantage of that. 13 cuts down in front. He's going to kind of be a little bit patient, wait to see if the 13 makes a mistake anywhere. Don't feel like I have the pace to force it. We've got a slow car up high. That was the 4. So there's one spot there that we didn't expect. I think the 4 was quite a bit faster than me, so... That's a, uh, that's a big free spot right there. 18's looking like he's got the pace right now, pulling away from the 13. I don't really feel like the 13's holding me up yet, but I feel like I'm driving it kind of easy. You can see 18 losing it there. 13 had to dive low. I just try to take evasive action, go to the inside, try to get by both of them. 18's going to be pushing hard on the outside. I think he was just overdriving it again. Watch out for him to dive on the inside of me, but he's going to have to watch it since he's going to have hot tires. I get a little loose off of turn two. 18's going to be able to go back to the inside, so try to get him by as quickly as I can again. Try to cut down in front of the 13. If I can, 13's quite a bit back. It'd be tough for him to get there. We we'll just need to tap the brakes, let the 18 by, but he's a bit slow. Still puts us in 8th though, we were able to get by the 13 out of that, so uh, not exactly the way I drew up that pass, but I will gladly take that. I think the 18 is still going to make a mistake at some point. We are not even halfway yet, only 26 down and 34 to go. So definitely cost me a little bit of time to the uh, 6 up ahead and the 4, but, or not the 4, excuse me, um, I think that's the 7 up ahead, because the 21's a lap down. But uh, I was definitely kind of thinking long term for the whole race. It was worth it to let the 18 by either. He's just faster than me. But with how aggressive he's looking, thinking uh, he won't be afraid to use the bumper and knock me out of the way. So did allow the 20 to close up a little bit. But I feel like I have pace to be able to pull away from him. 19 has an issue on the inside of the back stretch. Thankfully way out of the racing line. So no worry about contact there. It's definitely had uh, Rex involved in this, kind of what I expected to see. Not anywhere near as bad in Lanier is my opinion, but like I said, I feel like this setup and, and the track's a little bit easier than Lanier was, so um, you know, I think it's a little bit easier to manage, but okay, Jake, still half focusing on controlling the car, the power, and then, nice. you know, it's it's more about avoiding problems yourself than, uh, than being the outright fastest car on the track. Almost get myself a little too low in the corner, able to hold it off. You can see we're starting to pull away from the 13. Keeping about even pace with the 18, although you can see him getting loose through the center of the corner. So I think he's in that overdriving phase where if he continues on with that, he will eventually lose it or burn up his stuff, and I'll be able to catch him again. Pulling back away from the 20. Gaps back to about two seconds to him. So 
not really worried about anything other than the 13 behind us, and I think we're pulling away from him as well. Thirty-three down, got twenty-seven to go, just a little bit past halfway, gonna start thinking about moving brake bias back. I get into the wall, I follow the eighteen up. Thankfully no incident points there. I was just got caught watching. Could have been my chance to close up to the eighteen had I not done that. Opening up a little bit more of the gap from the 13. I'm just trying to keep the car to the bottom of the track and try to get as straight of an exit as I can. Get the car slowed down, let it roll through the corner. You can see the 18 really losing it in the center of the corner that allowed me to pull up and get by him. He's going to try to do the crossover again, just like he's been attempting the entire time. Hoping I could finally just take advantage of him overdriving and try to pull away. Just finally lock this place down. Not sure if I can chase the uh, 17 or the 6 down for a top 5, but certainly going to give it my best effort. I think I finally have enough car to try to get away from the 18. I think he might have finally overdriven the car a little bit too much. I get into the wall again. Just really trying to avoid these mistakes. That's going to draw the 18 back if I keep making too many of them and also make it tough. It's two seconds to the 6 and the 17. They're running side by side, so... The more they can run side by side, the more I can catch them. Looks like the uh, 6 is able to pull to the inside of the 17, clear him. Honestly, even if I could get one more spot and get to 6, I'd be thrilled to death with that. We are on lap 40, so just under two-thirds of the way done. No pressure now from the 18. He's fallen back into the clutches of the 13. I wouldn't be surprised to see the 13 really make some moves on him in the next 10 laps or so. About 1.3 or so to the 17, so I feel like we're catching him. 21's also catching him, so it'll be an interesting dynamic to see if the 21, once I get to him, if he allows me by or if he's going to keep trying to fight to stay where he is. Get a little loose off of 4, but you can see the 18 behind gets a little loose as well, so gives me a little bit of a reprieve there, although pulling away quite a bit, got just over a second to him, so no real pressure. Gap to the 17 up ahead is about stabilized right around 1.2 or so so it's going to be either this lap traffic up ahead that's going to affect it or if the 17 makes a mistake okay, i'm not quite sure if i have the all-out pace to uh, get to the 17 moving the brake bias back all the way just to finish the run out a little loose there out of the corner had to save it the gap to norris behind is now 1.18 Cap to the 18, it opened up a little more. That closed up a little bit the last time off of turn four, but still a pretty comfortable cap. Starting lap 45, so we're just under a quarter of the way to go. We're just over a quarter of the way to go. And I have 15 to go this time by. This race has gone about the way I planned it to in terms of what I expected to see with Rex and what I was hoping to do. Just, uh, unfortunately, you know, a little bit too far back in the field to try to uh, stay closer to the leaders and obviously had some moments to check up for. You know, had those had those battles with the 18 there for the first half or so of the race. And I think that might have hurt, hurt the pace a little bit, but it was definitely worth it in the long run to uh, let him go and, and try to fight that that way. A lot of lap traffic up here ahead. Uh, just trying to clear them as easily as I can. 17 is doing a good job getting by him. Looks like this might be the deciding factor if I can't get through the 21 and the 7 quickly. But 7th place in this field for me is nothing to sweat, sweat and nothing to hang my head over. Feels like it'll be a good return back for, uh, for me after uh, taking a few days off. For whatever reason, I just seem to find a little more comfort here at the short tracks in these Arca cars compared to other series. It's a shame the series doesn't run more on it because you can get races here that are Pretty clean and a lot of fun, even if you do have to navigate, you know, slower traffic and whatnot. Your last lap time was at Start in lap 50. You have 10 to go next time by. Seven's trying to look to the inside of the 17. Not really sure why the lap car is doing that, but it could create a little bit of an interesting dynamic. If he's able to get to his inside, could allow me to try to get by him. Trying to get to the inside of the 21, see if I can follow the 7 through by the 17 for that spot, but not sure if it's going to happen. 7 seems like he's a bit slower, he backs up, may have to try to look to the outside, but 
It almost seems like the 21 and the 7 are, are basically identical pace. I lose it off a turn two, able to keep it going. 13 was able to get by the 20. Thankfully, they're too far back. I think I was just overdriving trying to follow the 7 through, and uh, that just caused me to lose it. So, thankfully, no incident points, no loss of control, just a little bit of a slide. Still got a good gap back to the 13 and the 20. Going to take it easy for a couple laps since the rear tires are going to be hot. Just got to take it easy. Looks like the 7 and the 21 have sorted themselves out. I don't think I've been a shot at the 17 bar and something happened. And I don't know if I would have been able to get to them. I think the way the lap cars were running side by side and, and just a little bit off the of pace, it was kind of preventing me from being able to get there. So just kind of an unfortunate setup. Not really sure why these two, well, looks like they are battling for position, so I can kind of understand. But... I mean, I could have potentially battled the 17 for position as well, so it, uh, I don't know, it, it presents an interesting dynamic for, for both parties. We're slowly catching back to the 17, he's going to get put to the outside by the 7. We've got four to go next time by. Don't know if I'm going to be able to quite get to the 17. If he could get hung on the outside, it's possible, but he keeps finding a way to cut back down in front of the 7, so I'm going to do the best that I can. Pulling back away from the 13 again, so no pressure from behind that way unless I make a mistake. Definitely drawn into the 17, but again, I, I've got both the 7 and the 21 up ahead, and I don't know if they're both going to be able to get by, and we've got three laps to go, so it's uh, it's going to be a really interesting finish. 17 slots himself in between the 7 and the 21. I'm hoping the 21 will just move high. I know he wants to battle the 17, but he's got to realize that he doesn't have a shot at that, and I'm trying to battle the 17 try to get to the inside of the 21 without overdriving it in the corner see if I can try to get to the 17 we're gonna have one to go this time by don't think I'm gonna be able to get to the 17 but I'm gonna try to do all I can to get there 17's really driving hard off the corner you can see he got a little bit loose just like I did as well don't think I'm gonna have enough to get by him unless he makes some sort of mistake here down the back stretch so I'm still battling with the 21 but certainly going to try to do the best that I can. Unfortunately, we're going to come up just a little bit short, about a car length shorter. So so P7 out of this is not a bad finish at all, uh, especially when I was going for six. Fortunately, like I said, I, I feel like I don't want to necessarily blame it on the lap cars, but I think the lap cars might have made a bit of an influence on that one and uh, made it a little bit tough to try to get to the 17, certainly. Pit lane speed limit is I compounded the problem by uh, having the issue with losing it there off of turn two and uh, having to catch it but definitely a much cleaner race than I expected. Take a look at the tires you can see tire order was almost even it was really about the temps had uh, actually for the first time you can see left side tire was actually pretty close to the right side so um, had that right were just a little too hot made it a little bit tougher to drive off I think that was definitely induced by that that little bit of uh, overspin and, and looseness off the corner but overall not too bad so um, Happy to come away with a 0x, even though I got lucky with contact off the start. Well, let's uh, kind of take a look at that and see how that all lined up. That was definitely a uh, bit of an interesting dynamic with the uh, 18 behind. So I want to look at that start, see what happened if the 18 got contact or if that was uh, him him losing it. So you can see we kind of kind of checked up, then we get going. Oh, he just hit the throttle too hard and lost it. I didn't know if the 12 behind got into him or if he uh, if he got it. You can see the 12 actually lost it on his own. So, um, come back up to me. Okay, so here's the issue with the 9. I think, if anything, this might have been net code, but he easily could have lost it as well. You see, I'm... I got a feeling that looks more like net code. I mean, I definitely... So if we follow it through, I easily could have gotten them. Um, yeah, I was I was pushing up a bit more than I wanted to. I had a, a bit of a lower entry than I normally would take. Didn't quite get the car stopped enough. I got off the brake a little too early, to let the car roll a little bit, and that's where that's where I was rolling up. And right here, uh, that that's a lot of net code. So feel really bad to do that to the nine, because um, if we look at it from the nine's perspective. Yeah, he was really holding a consistent line, so that one, that one's all on me. Um, you know, I, I feel bad. He actually uh, ended up finishing in 14th one lap down, so I feel really bad for for that incident there. Um, but you know, the nut code, uh, there's only so much I can do about that as well. So 
fast forward, I want to see the deal with the 18 that happened. Well, this was this was an interesting wreck. This was uh, this is where I chose to let the 18 buy on the inside. Just can see the inside line going into uh, to turn three, and the 11 loses it and collects the seven. Somehow the 18 kind of gets involved in it, but actually doesn't really uh, get too much damage out of it. Looks like the 11 just comes down, and I. I don't know, I mean, I feel like that's more on the 7 for driving in a bit too hard, probably should have just laid off, and you can see it kind of does the same thing I did, the 9 just pushes up and drills the 11 right in the back end, so does a good job staying off of them, and then the 18 just really kind of almost has nowhere to go, piles in the back of them, but everybody actually gets straightened out pretty well um, for that one, so that worked out that we were able to uh, stay to the outside, avoid that one. That was when we got by the three. I thought there was contact coming up with the 18 at one point. Which I can see there was another wreck I avoided. That was a lap car at that point. Lap car to the inside. 18's battling the 13. This is when we get by the 13. Let's see what happened to set that one up. That was an interesting dynamic. So, 18 loses it. I could see that. As soon as he shot up the track, I just had to go to the bottom to avoid because I couldn't slam on the brakes to try to avoid him. So, I was able to get by both of them. That allowed me to stay ahead of the 13 the rest of the race. I guess there really wasn't any contact with 18. I thought there was. So, let's go check a look at the results. Um, yeah, I, again, you can feel free to leave your comment on what happened with the 9 off the start. I, I still think it was net code, but it was it was going to be me running into him, so it was a lot of my fault, and I feel bad. Um, was top split out of 30, 31, 67 strength of field, so again, from overall, for an ARCA race, not that strong for me, uh, decently strong. About two tenths off the fast lap. Uh, I never really felt like I got a chance to to run very quick, though. It was just always kind of cutting traffic. Always had the 18 kind of dive bombing. So, you know, I was just trying to do the best I could to uh, uh, avoid him as much as I could. Um, able to gain 58 in I rating. So just back over 2,600. Kind of been teetering around that 2,600. I go above it and then come back down below it and go back of it. So hopefully I can uh, turn this into a positive and start making a... Uh, a permanent jump above 2600 keep working for uh you know that 3k step is the next one uh, able to gain 0.26 out of the safety rating so up to 2.66 so hopefully a couple more races like that should get that 0.4 bump get back over 3.0 at least uh put myself in a position to get promoted to a license if it doesn't happen before the end of the season but still working for that fast track just uh again still trying to run as clean as i can without uh you know, really causing too many issues. I want to be able to run hard and fast at the same time. I think for the most part, that is that is attainable. Uh, I think I see a lot of guys out there doing it. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do that as well. And certainly, um, you know, you, you can easily identify the times that you was a racing deal and you had nowhere to go or somebody else was fault, even if you get signed incident points. So um, got pretty fortunate at that time uh, with that, that net code with the nine did not get anything out of that. So not too many cars overall uh, outside of the front three that, that had no incident points. So feel pretty fortunate to have uh, followed my game plan, really set myself up in the position, took a few free spots uh, out of Rex, but also had some spots that I was able to just get by people, whether it was setting up uh, passes, you know, through the Rex that happened or, or just getting by on pace. So pretty happy with that race overall. I feel like that was a pretty good return. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. going to try to get uh, some more out to finish out week nine and hopefully get back to a, a little bit of a regular schedule because I got some stuff that changed with work uh, the last couple of days. So um, next few weeks may be a bit rocky and it may be a bit inconsistent, but I'm going to try to do the best I can to keep consistency going for you guys. I, I enjoy running consistent races. It gives me something to look forward to. It's just not fun when uh, you know things aren't going away and, and I'm also not performing well. So I think the break was uh, a little bit of a necessary break and, and did some good for me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. going to try to... Uh, get some more in and feel free to leave any feedback. Uh, love, just love to hear from you guys in general and stay tuned for more races for the rest of this week. Until the next one, hopefully all your laps are fast, your races are clean, and your finishes are good. Thanks for watching.